Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I have great news. I'm sure some of you have already seen it, but uh, the Power BI team has released the monthly update. So the March update, March 2017 is out and for me the most exciting feature is actually the possibility to add theme colors and I normally don't do reviews on the monthly updates because they do a good job, but this update I think deserves their own, its own video. So uh, without any more delay, let's jump on it. You will be excited about everything. Don't miss it. So here we are in Power BI and I just have created a simple table with text, number and categories, nothing else. And then I created a bar chart and a text table or a table. And when you update the March update, you won't see the switch theme feature right away. And you have to go here to file options and preview features and enable. So this is the custom report themes, but you also can enable the new matri matrix visual and the range slicer. Okay, uh, but this is the one that we are going to demo today, the custom report themes. So once you have updated that, you will have to restart Power BI and then you will get this new icon switch theme when you see import default and how to create a theme. Now, if you click on how to create a theme, it will take you to the announcement, I think, or perhaps this is a special, no, this is the, this is the announcement. So it will take you to the announcement where they explain a little bit what this is all about. And what they are going to tell you is that you have to create a JSON file that will include the colors that you want to use in your report. And then you have a name the data colors, a background, a foreground, and a table accent. Now, the data colors is basically what you see in here. There are 12 you can choose, so that, that's why I created 12 categories, and those are the data colors. The background, the name is of course the name of the theme, so you could say corporate the theme or customer one theme or uh, sales theme, anything you like. Now background, foreground and table accent are the colors used in table and matrix styles. And to be able to see those you have to apply a theme. So. They're meaning these are the themes for these tables and you have to have a table style, one of these applied. So whatever you write in here, that's the colors that you will see in there. Okay. Now, for those of you that don't know what a JSON file is, I mean, don't worry, this is very, very simple. You don't even need to know what that is. I am going to show you how to actually create your own custom theme using this table structure. So let's copy that. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open uh, Notepad, I use this uh, Notepad++, plus plus, but the, the normal Windows no Notepad will do. And you just copy it there, and then you will see exactly the same structure. You, we just copied name, we call it Corval theme. This is our corporate, corporate sounds like a cool uh, name. So this is the colors for Kerbal. So how do you get the colors for Kerbal or for your own company logo? There are different ways to do it. I've just went on Google and picked a site, the first one I, I got, so you can choose other sites. But um, here's one of them. I'm going to post the link on the description box in case uh, 
you want to use the same service. Otherwise, there are like thousands of services everywhere. But what you can do here is you can choose a file and then show an image. Let's do that. Click on show image and then the logo shows up here. Now, if you click on the part of your image where there is color, this tool will identify the color and it will give you the code. So let's go back to Notepad and then we copy that color in there. So that will be the green. Let's go back in there and say now we want to have the red. Make sure that the color appears here. Your color. We're going to change that. Copy there. We go back to click there. Put it there. And now we go back to our tool. We take the yellow, make sure that is selected. Go there. Paste it there. Let's go back and we take the black. And then we go back and we take that. I don't have any other color, so either you remove them or you let them be. I'm going to let them be in case I need more color so you don't you won't get like white or you know. And for those, I'm not going to choose anything. I'm just going to let those be as they are. Now I'm going to save these as. And I have now a folder called themes. And in there, we're going to save it as a JSON file. Okay, so you choose JSON and then save. This Node plus plus, Notepad plus plus is a free program, so you can download it in on uh, online. I can actually put a link to Notepad too, so you can download it if you want. So now we have the JSON file. We go back to Power BI, and now we want to apply our Kerbal theme to this. So we say import theme, and we look for it. I have here a custom file with my maps, my visuals, and my themes now. So, Kerbal and theme import success. And this is my green, my red, my yellow, and my blue. Because I didn't choose the other ones, you see that um, there are other colors. And then here is what has been chosen for the tables not very good. So I have to work on that um, file a little bit so things are more visible, but you get the idea, right? So you can modify this file and put your colors as you like. It's fairly simple. Um, now, if you want to know what color this is. There are actually a lot of services online that do that. I have just picked one random and you have, for example, this service. I've, I will put the uh, link on the description box. So don't worry. And the only thing you need to do is to copy and then you paste it in here and then you get the color up here and then you can actually play with it. So oh, I would like to have it more blue or more whatever, more transparent or not. And then it will change and give you a new color. So this is a way to modify the colors a bit if that's what you would like. So tons of opportunities. Now, if you don't want to do these things manually, if you know your codes already, um, Power BI tips and tricks um, website has created a 
small application where you can actually put the name of your theme, the color is the background foreground, and then you click here, download color theme, and the, the JSON file will be created for you. And I will put the link of this site on the description box also, so don't worry about it. So this is another option. Either you do it yourself with the notepad, you know, the, uh, uh, any text, don't use it Word, Word is not good for this, but other than Word, you can use any other note uh, application. And then you just change as you like, or you use his service. Either way will work. And not only this, because the guys at Power BI has done something really, really cool. And uh, it is like this. If you look at some examples to get you started, you can download the theme I use in this example. You can delete, download a theme for colorblind or a zip file for all the Power BI themes. I have done that and this is what you get. So this is really, really cool. This, they've already worked on some themes and say, okay, we will uh, give them to, to everybody for download. I have created a file where you can see what those themes are. Let's delete that. You know, so if you say, oh, how does flow look like? It looks like that. So all the themes that are given by Microsoft, you can see the colors in here. These file will be available for download for you in the description box also. So make sure you download it because you can, even if you don't perhaps like the colors that much, you can say, oh, I like this range a bit and then I would like to change the tonality. So it's perhaps easier to start from something and modify it. So that I hope that this will help you design beautiful reports. Uh, it is not very helpful to have just these files because you don't see how they look like, right? So I'm hoping that the Word file will help you along. And uh, another thing is that if you scroll to the comment box, I usually read them. I think they are quite interesting. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here it is. Somebody says, please link to a place to download themes so people can post theirs. And they said, hey, check back to the blog later today or tomorrow and you'll see them. We are announcing a theme gallery in the community side very, very soon. How cool is that? So there will be a public theme gallery for the Power BI community. That means that people will be able to share themes and Microsoft will be able to share their own themes too. So we don't have to spend time on that. So this is really good. Make sure you stay tuned for that. As long as they release the gallery, I will put the link on the description box. But as of making this video, there is no gallery yet. So hopefully it will be released very, very soon. So let's see, uh, like for example, this module, let's change that import theme, go to module import, voila. I mean, how cool is that? And it will get applied to all the slides. I've spent so many hours changing the color and chart bar charts that you wouldn't even imagine. This is really, really powerful. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Power BI team. You are awesome. Love you. You're great. I hope you enjoy this as much as I'm doing it. So it's just fantastic news. But uh, I, I will not make this video any longer. Okay, so this is all for today. A great start of the March month. Um, I really hope you enjoy this video. I really enjoy the Power BI update this month. It's absolutely awesome. And um, if you like the video, let me know by liking it or sharing it. If you have comments, questions, suggestions, let me know on the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.